I'm gonna do a video to to show you guys, you know, kind of what normally if I know it's gonna be muddy, what I do when it's muddy, because these tracks get dirt and stuff, and they get down here around the rollers, and man, that stuff is hard. You just about forget about it, because it takes a crowbar to do it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set you up. Summers here. I should be able to set you up summers. I don't know if you can see it in there. Let's see here. I just take my, that says all mud and that shit packs. There is no getting it out. So I'll just take my hand and wipe all that stuff out. Get all the dirt out of there. No big deal. It really don't take that long. It just needs to be done. Get some mud and dirt and stuff. When we, when we get ready to pressure wash this thing, it'll take a day to get ready to clean it all up, get all the mud out. But. Yeah, it takes a minute or is it just a little minute or two it can save you almost an hour trying to pry that shit out of there. It's horrible. It's horrible on that track machine. Then we got a big fat arm and hand. It's kind of a pain to get your hand behind the sprocket. But I don't mind doing it. It saves me time later. And this is a roller suspension too. This is a nice, nice undercarriage from hell, man. This thing is nice. It rides so smooth. And you can drive over anything and not feel it. Literally. Not feel nothing. Trees and stuff. You can't feel them. But you can tell the sprockets are shiny. We do. We use this thing a lot. As we get more and more, more busy and stuff, I'll get some more out of the cab shots, you know. I just don't. When I do my videos, I try to do them, you know, where, where I can talk to you and and explain what I'm doing but sometimes that just doesn't work out too well see all that mud right there that'd take me three hours to pry out of the pry bar yeah I got a cold so I might be breathing a little hard like I've been smoking I'm a smoker. No, I'm no, just kidding. No, I've been, I got a cold or something. It kind of laid in the other day. Man, is it horrible. I hate getting sick. That's the one thing in this world I absolutely hate. Besides trees or uh, eight panger vines and about everything. There's a bunch of dirt right there. Behind there is a void in there. I've seen it. I mean, I really don't know what all, everything does on a machine, but. I don't know if you can see it neither. There's a void right down there where my finger's at. That's where I think the your, all your hoses that go behind that. And that's a quick little service tip for anybody who, you know, has got one of these track machines and gets a bunch of mud and stuff. You just want to clean that out for it. Packs in there harder than hammer hell. Then you have problems. Um, another tip is if you ever have a problem with your hydraulics not going on, like the grapples, you're taking... You need to break this one loose or this one loose. You get that pressure down, put them on, and tighten that back up. It'll work just fine. I seen some tips over Dirt Ninja did. Curl the bucket all the way back, and you hold the hold the back pedal all the way back, and hit your button in the cab, and you got the power bob attach. That thing goes in real quick. But I like to I like to inform some people because I've been doing this for a good while. I understand quite a bit about it, and I watch different people do it, and. I enjoy it. I know that's probably ain't the most exciting thing. I mean, just clean up your freaking rollers. But a little tip there if you guys have ever had any mud issues, you just wipe that out and you want to worry about a year to wash it. Listen to that. An owl. That's a barred owl. I mean, I like to listen to them sometimes. But I'll show a full service and uh, cleaning of this machine when we get ready to do it. Um, here. Let me stop. We're on a blow out the internal air filter and then the external for the cab filters, which is the air conditioning. Well, then we'll get all new, um, all new air filters for the motor itself, fuel filter, and um, oh, oh, dang, dang it! What the hell is it? Oil filter. I don't like it. Think of it. Um, the hydraulic you don't change all the time, but we probably will have to here soon. And of course, I always grease the machine before it goes on a big job, or it starts to go to squeaking sometimes. You need to get it greased because 
Yes, all that dirt and stuff get down in them pins and stuff and just wear the hell out of the pins. Mr. Let's Dig kind of told me that one, including I kind of knew that one from the start. So I just kind of, I pick up on things on YouTube. So anyhow, guys, you of course, clean it. You need to clean this out too. And we get shit in there like that. But you guys, you got, I'll do some more tech, tech tips on this thing. You know, walk around it. We'll have the cab up and get it all cleaned up. And y'all can see it brand new, brand new spanking new. I'm wanting to get one of those diamond pleat things to go around there. I'm thinking about maybe going and seeking one to put across there. Because the dealer decal left a fade mark, and I hate that. And it's all scuffed up. Put that across there, man. That thing look good. Diamond pleat and chrome. That look really good on there, so... Quick little tech, tech tips and some show how to's and all that BS. We'll catch y'all on the next one.